I'm back. We're back with the vlog. This time we're doing it better and better than even before. So today's Tuesday, January 3rd. We're back in the office and um, today is like a big day at the House of Bond camp because today I'm bringing management on board. <laughs> so I've decided to switch up these vlogs a little bit. When I left Vlogmas, so the very last vlog that I did, I had asked the question, what do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see more about business, more about entrepreneurship, more about my life, more about interior design? Like what is it that you guys are interested in? And almost unanimously, you guys all said that hands down you were into you wanted to learn more about business and entrepreneurship which for me is like super super exciting because that's what I want to talk about so this video is going to be all about growing your business and incorporating management so this morning John Sutherland is coming on board as our managing director this is huge this is a brand new position for House of Bond. This has never been done before. He comes with like a wealth of experience. Um, he had built an interior design firm, eventually sold it to his partner. So I feel incredibly lucky to have him coming on board. And um, I think this is gonna be like a huge game changer. Going forward for 2017, I wanna focus a lot on brand building. I wanna focus a lot on the work that I'm doing with the media team. I'm going to focus more on the creative aspects of our design projects, but I definitely don't want to run the day-to-day -day operation. And if you have to do that, that almost hinders you from being able to take your company to the next level. So because we want to get into more video, more media, product, um, we're going to just start, I'm going to start experimenting with different avenues in business and start playing with a lot of creative ideas that really support what we're already doing with the design team. Um, in order to do that, I need help. I need management help. I'd never be able to do it if I didn't have management. So that's why John's coming on board. This is going to be a really, really exciting time at House of Bon, and I'm just going to work on really pushing and growing this company and I want you to be along for the journey. So I hope this interests you and I hope you stay with me as I talk about all the ups and downs, the successes and failures and challenges that come up. I want to share all of that with you. So thank you so much for watching. I'm excited to take you with me into this meeting. Ready, you ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. Do his moment, John. I feel like we're super lucky to have him because you come with so much experience and That's what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> I started out as a creative designer and loved that aspect, but at some point I had to make a switch. And actually in the early 90s I had to give up my design table, drafting table, because we weren't really AutoCAD or completely computerized at that Karina time. Karina doesn't even know what those are. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do. Exactly. <laughs> I partnered with them and then I ended up buying them out and going on my own and focused on food and beverage and retail. You know, what services can we provide? How can we make clients even give them more than what the standard firm would offer? What gets me excited about Karen's vision is that she's going beyond the typical interior design model as well. And the social media is brilliant. And then what can go beyond that? If she can do what she's best at, and I can do what I'm best at, and you can do what you're best at, it's a win-win for everybody. So it is about quarter to three. I am here at L'Atelier. This is like a co-working space over in Gastown. This is like my second boardroom or second office. Um, I'm just getting ready to jump into a media meeting with Todd, but I wanted to wrap up the video from this morning because 
my meeting with John Sutherland and the team went awesome. Introducing management was just, it just it seemed like it was so seamless and so easy for everybody. And I kind of want to touch on something really quickly because I've had my business for almost eight years at this point. And it's taken me this long. And mind you, I started even before the eight years. I've, it's been like 10, 11 years since I even started my first business. But it's taken me this long before I've been in a situation and in a scenario where I can actually bring this kind of management into my company. And for any of you people that have your own business, your own creative business, who might not be this far along, I do have some tips for you because in the first couple of years, obviously it just isn't realistic to have this kind of management win your company. So. I wrote some notes. I've got some tips for you that I want to share with you. Okay, so for any of you guys that have a small business or a small creative business and you're not quite at the level yet of where you would be bringing management into your company, I do have three tips that I think are super useful for you at any point in your business and that will completely set you up for success. So. Tip number one, and even though it sounds like this goes without saying, it took me a really long time to practice this, but you definitely want to have a really good handle on your finances. So if I were to ask you questions like, what are your monthly costs? What are your monthly sales targets? What is your annual projected profit for the year? If you can't bang off the answers right away, then I highly, highly suggest that you get someone on board, whether it's a really good bookkeeper, a really good accountant, um, some kind of financial advisor who can help you really get a handle on your numbers. I started at about year five, so still quite a while. I started at year five implementing a procedure where I had a monthly meeting with an accountant to really get an understanding of what was going on in my business. And that completely helped to paint the business story of what was happening internally and helped me set myself up for growth and for success. So a huge number one tip. Tip number two, you wanna be able to measure productivity. Me as an example, as an interior designer, it's really important that when I take on a job, I know exactly how much time I have to finish that job in order to A, be profitable and B, break even. Getting a handle on that kind of productivity will help you be really successful in completing your jobs and making sure that essentially there's profit and success at the end of the day. And tip number three, you want to have a really good system for defining scope of work. I think that this is key in a creative business. So whether you're a graphic designer, a wedding planner, a photographer, a web designer, an interior designer, you want to make sure that whenever you are taking on a job, you have a clear defined scope of work. So things that you're going to do for that price and things that are not included in that price. That way, you're never scope creeping, you're never doing more work and not getting compensated for it. You're always able to track it. So those three things, one, getting a handle on your finances, two, being able to measure productivity, and three, really being able to identify a scope of work will completely set you up for growth and success in the long run. Okay, so this is a different kind of video. It's a little bit more of business advice. But I am so excited to have you here and watching. I thank you so much for watching. I'm super excited about my business journey and where I'm gonna take my company and House of Bond over the next few years. And I'm so excited to have you along for this journey. Um, I'm really eager to teach you what I know. I hope you learn something from these videos. We're gonna do a whole bunch more of these entrepreneurial and business type videos. So I hope there's a whole bunch of takeaways for you and I'm, I'm just so excited for you to be on this journey and I'm just gonna share everything that I learn with you um, as I go forward. So please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done that already so that you don't miss what's coming up next and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye for now. Hey. Hey. It's Todd, everybody. Hey guys. <laughs>
No, I, I like it actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's a brick wall with the whole set. Okay. <laughs>